Hello everyone, this tutorial shows you how to enable authentications and authorization for your CAP applications. So for the full projects, you have to follow the last couple of video. So after completing this project, if you click on the Rix applications, then it will ask for the username and passwords. So now I am in the project. So for the very beginning, I have to start CDS watch so it will start that project and after that I will add the authorization so basically what I will do I will add um, user and this user will have some access or authorizations and you can see that how authorizations will work to your projects. So, yeah, just open the. So now, if I click on rigs, I can see the data because currently there is no access or authorizations. So, let it. Okay, so data is there. So now what I have to do, you can see that uh, we already uh, develop um, projects with the service and here is the RIC service CDS. So in that RIC service um, CDS, we have to add like, there's the place to add um, a restriction so it should be just then restriction then grant like it's read to actually that is the role name so who are already work on the SAP basis site they know about the role ticket so it's just a role name Rix so basically this user can who uh, have that for this entity who have that Rix viewer he can see the read access and also grant um, grant it's also all access I'm giving all should be like this so now to this should be the X manager X. so what happened is that like um, basically there are two role the role viewer only have the tricks um, access and that Rix manager has all the all access. So in the same way, if I go to that, uh, that is the Rix and another entity. That is the uh, mitigations. In the same way, I can just copy this and I can paste here so it's the same like uh, in that for this table who uh, have that basically who have that uh, Rix um, viewer access he can see the both table 
and who have that Wix manager access he can also see the word uh, table and he will also have that uh, all access so um, this is this part is done and now we have to go to here and we have to add that code so basically the things is that uh, this uh, authorizations and authentications a actually we have to maintain in the cap uh, module but it's only for the testing purpose uh, when the tester will test in the local uh, environments so they can basically uh, test so there's the reason it it is it it just for the development purpose or testing purpose so it's development John then um I can use that is totally call that um passport passport then strategy it is mock because it is just for the testing in the development and for the tester mock then and then the users so i am creating two users um rigs dot viewer both at the tester dot s sp dot com then uh, I have to enter the pass password password is like initial then id id is that um, the same So now I have to give him that roles that is um, risk viewer viewer so so for this um that ju just dummy uh, uh id just to make sure that everything is working fine in the uh production uh when you will deploy in the production then we just have to make sure that uh user is working based on that uh rule so in that dummy user he is getting the rix viewer access and here it is another user rigs manager tester.sap.com then password initial id is the same actually you can just copy and paste then
it was Wix Manager. You can uh, remember that um, if any user have that Wix Manager, he can actually uh, do anything uh, because he has that star access. So now um, it's look good. Uh, no error. So if I go to the risk, just me. Okay, so it's okay. It does indeed. Let's let's start. So now if I click on the rigs, now need to go to data, it's it's coming. So what I have to do because uh, it's the Chrome and uh, there is no restart systems here. So here what I just Chrome I just have to do restart. So basically it will restart. And now if I go it uh, is still coming. So just close this. and open again so now it's um, it's it's not working uh, you know that is also opportunity to learn from the mistakes that why it is not working. So Rick service, it is done. So now if I Here, if I restart, and then run this, go. Oh, I can see. I can still see the data. Let me check. Okay, so rigs. Oh, sorry, actually, it should. It should be restic, not restriction. So here, this is also should be same. So now if I click go, I have to Chrome go. Still I have to check where is the problem. Again, there is a sorry for that. It should not be like that. It should be just simple mistakes here. Let it run. 
okay now you can see that um, username and password is coming so now actually that is the hidden file for the local so for example if i if i copy and i give any password it will not go but if i give this and if i give the password initial that you can see the data uh, and you can based on your uh, uh, testing purpose uh, you can add uh, some more value here just for and you can change the user to check the uh, he is already getting like for example here in the risk table I am not giving any access to to root Rix manager so I am giving access only Rix viewer so now again I have to because there is no uh, logout system so what I have to do Chrome restart so now what if I if I log in as a Rix manager, Rix manager only Rix manager, he don't have the Rix viewer. But if I log in as a Rix manager, and also password is also good, like you can see that is uh, forbidden uh, because he don't have that access. So uh, that's all. Uh, thank you.